Okay, so we are in Windows Live Movie Maker. Click to browse for videos. And now you are looking for the video that you have just exported from Photoshop. Okay, it'll show up right here. Now the first thing you do, you should watch it. See how fast or slow it is. Over here, this is your timeline. And then down here, you can zoom to make your timeline bigger or smaller. Okay, so right now I'm zooming in and then I can see more details of my timeline. Okay, the first decision you need to make, do you want to slow down or speed up your entire video or just parts of it? Mine goes really fast. I'm gonna start by slowing down the whole thing all together. Okay, here's how you do that. You have video tools, you make sure that your entire video is selected, click edit, and then here are your speed options. Anything that is less than one means your video will be slowed down, or anything that is more than one means your video will be sped up. I'm gonna try it at 0.5, see how it goes. Okay, this is a lot better. However, I want this flying sequence to be just a little bit faster. Right now I'm moving my playhead to where my flying sequence starts. Come on. And I just paused it. This is the section where I want it to start slowing down. Okay, so what you can do, you can either where your playhead is, press split up here or you can right click and do split here. What this will do is it'll split your clip into two separate clips. All right, and now I'm going to keep playing. I wanna find where the flight sequence ends. Okay. I don't want it to be slowed down anymore after this point. Here's where I want that slowed down section to end. So I'm going to now split here. And now I have this one entire clip of my flying sequence and I'm going to make that one a little bit faster. Okay, so I'm gonna put it at one, which is how fast it was to begin with, and I'm gonna see how that goes. Now the next step is I'm going to add music. I'm just going to make sure that it's the correct song, that the volume hasn't been changed, that the pitch hasn't been changed, the speed hasn't been changed. Now there is this website called listentoyoutube.com. This essentially allows you to download songs from YouTube videos. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to paste it here. And now I'm going to click go. Okay. And there might be a couple of things that look a little bit funky. You want to make sure you click here to get your download link. Okay. Then you click download MP3 and it's downloading right here. When it's done, I always show it in folder just so I know where it is so I can find it. So it's in my downloads. It's right here. It's this one. Um, it's just so I know how to access it in a minute. Okay, now I opened up Windows Media, excuse me, Windows Movie Maker again. Um, and now you click add music. All right, I'm going to see if I can find it. It's under my downloads. And it's this one right here. And I'm going to click open. Okay, I'm pretty happy with where it comes in. Um, if you're not thrilled with it, you can do, go to edit, double click on your music. You can mess around with the start time, end time. Um, if you fade it in and fade it out, sometimes it makes it sound really nice and really professional. All right, I'm pretty much done with this video. I am satisfied with how it is. So the way that you export it is you have to go save movie.
if you save the project, it will not be playable, okay? Um, the best way to do this is for high definition play, and it just keeps the video looking really nice without compressing it. So for high definition play, save it. I would recommend on your flash drive. Okay, retitle it something that you know what it is. Maybe title it with your name, something along those lines. And then when you're done, hit save.